Biotechnology, of course, has many facets. Uh, from uh, tissue culture of bananas to get rid of the diseases, of the virus infection specifically. All bananas grown in South Africa are, you know, virtually virus free and they come from tissue culture. It's a, it's a very professional uh, technology, but conventional. We have herbicide tolerance in the crops. We can have much better management of weeds. What we have is uh, tolerance in cotton against uh, bollworm which is a major pest globally, and what we have is tolerance to stalk borer in maize, which is also a big problem. And uh, we are going in South Africa now substantially for stacked genes, where these traits are just combined. And there, there's a lot of new um, technologies under test. For Africa, it is food security and its nutrition. Those are the two major problems. Periodic food, food insecurity with dependence on foreign supplies of food and inadequate uh, balance in, in daily nutrition. So the technology uh, to a smallholder farmer who is cash strapped can help him to overcome those constraints because 40% of African grain crops are lost. What, what we have, of course, in Africa is already Burkina Faso is planting uh, commercially uh, BT cotton. What we see also is in Egypt uh, with BT maize. And what we see in a number of countries, quite a few countries, are field trials. But what we really need is to identify the typical African constraints in food security, food production, and nutrition in the African crops, not necessarily in canola or cotton or something else, but the major food crops in Africa need biotechnology. And biotechnology can only be one tool and it can help to alleviate one constraint. It is not an, an overarching super solution. And I think that is where Africa also has a problem. They need improved food production food security and better nutrition in African crops. There are quite a few institutions that are busy on this. Uh, some of the research is being done in South Africa. We're looking at drought tolerance, which is a major constraint. We're looking at enhanced nutrition, um, and we're looking at virus and pest uh, resistance. And those are issues that need to be incorporated in African crops, and uh, a number of the CG institutes in Africa are working on that and some of those uh, crops are being tested in South Africa as well.